this by mind, but by the spirit. The bread has been coming from time to time. More of this grace they are giving to us to live out this Christian life in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, he that taketh the standard, he should take heed lest he fall. Lord, as we are doing the little we can do, I pray you will strengthen us so that we remain standing in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for having answered our prayers. So if you see in this study again, help us understand your mind clearly in the mind of Jesus. Jesus today, I pray. Thank God we were able to finish the story of last week. Now we know what Jesus expects of us. Disciples. Style, how we preach, how we believe the word, all these things were clear to us. And I hope that how we will not allow them to deceive us. Today, we are continuing with the searching the word of God. And the next chapter we are proceeding today is Matthew chapter 11. Matthew chapter 11. I want to look at verse 1 to verse 6 this evening. Matthew chapter 11, verse 1 to 6. We must come on that. That is a clean seat, in fact. And from verse 1, and it came to pass when Jesus had made an end of commanding his twelve disciples, he departed then to teach and to preach in their cities. Now, when one had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent two of his disciples and said unto him, And thou he that is the or will we look for another? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Go and show John again those things which you do hear and see the blind receive their sight, and the day is worth the lepers and the death here. The dead are raised up and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Verse 6 And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. What is it? Indeed, is to really help believers, those of us who are serious with God. So that when we preach to people who try our best, we, we recognize that it's not our preaching that can save sinners. It's God Himself that has the power. Our own is to preach. To tell them this way you are going, we send you to hell. We can't force them to accept Jesus. We can be coming 
to all the programs of the church of, and they are hearing the teaching. But you can't force them to accept Jesus as their Because sometimes, many of us, we feel that once I preach to this person, he must be born again. She must be born again. And I've seen somebody who was a missionary. Missionary. The people who travel to take the message all over the world. And this man preaches all over. I was in, I was in a new compound there. And I was, the one he saw him doing things, I felt he was not born in me. So I said, give your life to Christ. You see me here, yeah. surrender, so I used to be this, now I'm a child of God. So he not told me he used to be a missionary. He preached to people and he was surprised that you are not born again. He said, Well, Jesus told him in John chapter 10 that he is the one that you know, gives him the soul, and that as he goes to preach, his seed should abide. Then the, 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 the Bible tells him that he is the one that has chosen them, and that they should go and preach, and that their seed, the people they are preached to, must abide. And he opened the Bible and showed you. That's John chapter 15. This is what, what the missionary showed you. International, because they are not, not just local, but into West Africa. In verse 15. He said, and for, I call you not sir. Sorry, verse 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit will remain, that whatsoever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. In the way to Tell him this. And then he preach to people, and they are not saved. You think Jesus is telling lies. I, 
I hope you will not carry this to you. You will be more than Jesus. And because of what is not coming to you, you will be to die. Okay. Judas, we thought that Jesus did for, for Judas. What happened? Judas, when they let Jesus to share, we don't share it. No, two people do not. Please, offload, offload yourself. So you can hear that you're going to remove the load you are carrying on your head. Okay. Even if you put your wife, you put your husband, and you refuse, don't be great for him or her. And then I see you, you are looking here to start that you want to give him a last calling, somebody who is sad. And then I see you, ah, sister, why are you like this? And you say, I'm just this dog, okay? This man that I've been following, not for the game. Then I guess it. The person you are doing to now is just smoking cigarette. Okay, hold on, I'll call them. Just pray for him. That's what we want to learn today. That's what we want, we want to learn today. From this book of Matthew. You will see that it is the prayer of the righteous that ability to touch. Prayer can do anything. Can bring down the hand of God. We have seen it in the Bible, what prayer has done. We have seen it in this church, what prayer is done. So, as we go through this, please, everybody should listen very well because I don't want to complain anymore. That brother, see how we have it. Those who want to hear about church in this if it's not what you need, you need to be. The person who is not coming, you have to have faith you have done this, you have done that. Okay. Please, calm down. So, if you don't get it, I think that's why you don't know what you want to do. And I see people in my shape. That's what you want to know. You see, in this account of Matthew chapter 11, 1 to 6. From one to six. He's talking about John. Also, they want to know. John was the one that baptized Jesus Christ. So how did they not share him? What did Jesus? And still, here, we didn't know Jesus. We didn't know Jesus. We didn't know Jesus. We was confused. All who 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 did that? Okay. People, you will see as we read different parts of the Bible. You will see, they are spoken about Jesus. And they ask him questions. Is there not him? That that person that is coming is Jesus. But now that he, he was in prison, you know, confusion came. But in Jesus, when you see him, he doesn't want to open your eyes. 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 He doesn't want to open your You know when, when you have a problem? What do you want to do? Ah. You, you will forget everything about you. All that you have had.
know, that's what they're used to catch Nigerian police. Because the number of or not or not you know the you know Nigerian is a big man. You know on top of you means man has a ten he or no one if if this police this is like either silent or open. Immediately they see you like that, they are angry. They are angry. And if you if you are not wise, well, let me correct this thing. Osha, are you standing there like a group or like an Osha? You are standing there to when people are coming to bring to lead them to where this. Don't you train yourself? You are not standing there like a dog of food. You are standing there to direct people. Hey, hey, you see somebody just passing, like, as if it's coming to club out, and you are there. Just enter like that, tell you to, to bring him to work. See, please take note. I have to give correction. The police, will, when they see you like that, say them, they are already angry, or even proper, they are already angry. They will be stopped. Don't be caught by him inside the chair. So, what are you doing when you are inside That can't look better. Like, commanded the disciples, one of He didn't stop. 
as you are praying, as you are talking to God about them, sure, God will lead you on what to do. But if you are just a father who said it now, I'm not going to talk about shame. Now, let me know verse 2 and verse 3 of that Matthew chapter 11. Verse 2 and verse 3. Now, when John had heard in the prison the works of Christ, he sent forth his disciples and said unto him, Are thou he that is poor or will look for another? This great servant of God, John, because he was in prison, he was not sure again of his faith. God 
you are, you are coming up with John the Baptist here. But John the disciple is the one that wrote what he saw. In John chapter 1, from verse 19, and this is the record of John when the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who are thou? And he confessed, and denied him, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Are thou the liar? He said, I am not. Are thou that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto me, Who art thou? And they give an answer to them that said, No. What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, made straight the way of the Lord, has said the prophet of this side. And they which were sent of the Pharisees, and they asked me, and said unto me, Who is baptized thou then? If thou be not that Christ, liar, and I am the prophet. John answered them, said, I baptize with water, but there standeth one among you, so ye know not. He it is who coming after me is preferred before me, whose shoe, shoe slash, I am not worthy to lose. This is what John in the Tabar beyond Jordan, where John was baptized. In verse 29, then the next day, John said Jesus coming unto me and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, we take him with the sin of the world. This is he of whom I said, After me cometh a man who is preferred before me, who was before me. And I knew him not, but I this would be made manifest to Israel. Therefore, am I come baptizing with water? And John, the American, said, so the spirit descending from heaven like a drum and the bind upon him. And I I knew him not. But he that sent me to baptize with water, the same said unto me, Upon whom thou shalt see the spirit descending and remaining on me, the same is he which baptized the Holy Ghost. And I saw, and I bear record that this is the Son of God. But that is why. Again, the next day after, John stood and two of his disciples, and looking upon Jesus as he walked, he said, Behold the Lamb of God. Or rather, John saw Jesus physically. And then we also see here that heaven opened, and John had the voice of heaven that this was Jesus. So everything John needed never to be confused about who Jesus was was clear to me and was given to me. He that is from the 
they had is Adli and Peter from the heart in a comment from heaven is a book form. And what he has seen and heard, that he testified. And no man received his testimony. Either has received his testimony, has said to see that God is true. For he who God has sent speaketh the word of God. For God giveth not the spirit of by measure. The Father God made the Son, and I did not teach to his hand, but can the sin. He that delivered not the Son has everlasting life, and he that delivered not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abided. It was not that revelation was not given to John. Throw it in inside the bowl 
with hot iron. Because if we are saying that people 
can have glory even if they have power of God, if they have anointing. If you are not in sync, that is, believe born again and doing God's will, if your problem comes, you can't even get it where out. In John chapter 3, verse 3, Jesus answered and said unto me, Very little, there is no thee, except the man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The Holy Ghost said to me, How can a man be born when he's old? He entered the second time into his mother's womb and be born. This is answer. Very deep prayer there is on thee, except the man be born of water and of the spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. But then know that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. In verse 8, the wind blew it where it is dead, and that we are in the sound there. For cannot tell when it cometh and whither it goeth. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. The Bodemus answered and said unto him, How can this thing be here? Yes, we know what it means to be born again. Even if it is rich, that's the language of the people. We are going to worship. 
but for him. When we talk now, think about it. When I'm saying that, does it please God? This action I'm taking now, do you agree with what God wants? That's what it means. For God to pour something upon you different. I 
by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. For you have not received the Spirit of one day again to fear. For you have not fear. For you have received the Spirit of adoption. Whereby we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit itself. We are the with our spirit that we are the children of God. But 
That coming Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to the baptism of him. Um, but John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of him and coming down to me. So I have a question. For those who uh, call on the name of the Lord, those who appear on the name of the Lord. The question you must ask is whether those that were baptized by John, whether they had grace. Yes. 
just say, just that that for things I see that the way, the truth, and the life. So this is without accepting Jesus, we may not have that grace of going to heaven. Yes, more contribution. Yes, we are all well with Yes. Here. Praise the Lord. Yes, they will receive uh, grace. They will receive grace because of the fact that when John preached to them, they saw that what they were doing was wrong. That it was wrong of what doing, and when they are said, they will get better. So, look at uh, that same Matthew chapter 3. That's in Matthew chapter 3. I'll start from verse 3. Say, For this is it that was spoken of the prophet, as I say, the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Where the Lord spread his heart, spread, and the same John had his remnant of garments, and the letter gathered about his garments, and his meat was lovers and white men. Then went out to him, Jerusalem, and all Judea, and all region, and about him, and were baptized of him, confessing their word, their sin. That shows some concern of their wrong way. They want to they really take two people and they want to repent and, and they want to repent and be baptized. There they definitely have the grace. If you get to another part of the Bible, you are asked the soldiers, you are asking John, what should we do now? And he was telling them what to do. So that shows that the grace is really there. Because he wants to write one. Very correct. But I'm going to connect the missing link there. The way what our sisters said, that Jesus said, and the way, the truth, and the life. Now, John was the person that started preaching the gospel even before Jesus. So I know. That is why you see we are our pastor right now. That he preached and people were repenting. Before that time, they were all living in sin. If you look at that Matthew chapter 3 verse 7, But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come with baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who are going you to flee from the road to come, bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance. Was the one that came to prepare the way of Jesus. So I don't know if that's a person of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 3, we are reading verse 3. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Israel, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare you the way of the Lord. Now, the only limitation he has is this. He cannot do more than leading people to be saved. He can't teach people on sanctification. You can teach people on baptism of the Holy That's Jesus' prerogative. Jesus has to die on the cross for sanctification, the power of the stony heart, and the grace to the heart of faith, and then the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Jesus has to die on the cross for that. That's why in the book of Acts, we see 
the disciples, those who believe the teaching of John. Those who those. Look at it, it in chapter 19 of Acts of Apostles. And it came to pass that when Apollo was in Corinth, Paul had passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus, and finally started the disciples. He said unto them, I feel the same, the only two things is the thing. And they said unto him, you are not so much as far, but I can be the only two. And he said unto them, unto what then were you baptized? And they said, unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized in the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him, we should come after him, that is on Christ Jesus. When they had this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they speak in tongues and prophesied. Yes, they are saved. No, 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 no. But they are not on fire, they are not dynamic. And, and Paul saw that the way they are going, is a lot. you know when you go to places where you don't have to be the Holy Spirit, you will know. Let's go. 